Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's JR from the People Station V-103.com from the Morning Culture. We're sitting here with a former Georgia Bulldog, an NFL prospect. He's heading to the NFL Combine. It's my main man, DeAndre Walker. DeAndre, how you doing, brother? What's good, man? How you doing? I got nothing to complain about. Listen, let's 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 get right to it. You're going down to the Combine. How is that feeling right now? Are you ready? You've been ready? What, what's the situation like right now? I mean, I fly tomorrow, and I'm really excited. I think... Once I land, I get a little bit more nervous, but right now, a lot of excitement. What are you nervous about, man? What's what's to be nervous? I mean, just to sit down with the, the team that I could possibly play for later on in the future and just talking to them and making sure that I get it all out. Okay, now I, I know you had the, the groin surgery not too long ago, and you won't be able to participate in all the drills, but like you said, you're going to have to participate in all of the mental evaluations and the interviews. How's the groin coming along? Uh, today would be five weeks, and up to eight weeks, I should be able to do a lot more moving around and running around. So get back to training and get at least uh, two weeks in before the actual on-field competition stuff. Okay, what about when we get down to the, the pro day at, at Georgia? You going to be cool by then? Uh, Probably not, but I hope we'll see. It's all in time, and I don't know yet. And have you gotten any advice from whether it be Roquan or who's giving you advice about some of these questions? Over the years, you hear about wild questions being asked from a lot of the talent evaluators and the teams. What advice have you gotten in from who? I mean, I get... A lot of advice from some of everybody, all the players that come back, or I might reach out to them like Roquan Smith, Leonard Floyd, Jordan Jenkins, and uh, I had somebody come down in and help me with interview prep as well. So, What's the wildest question you've heard anybody be asked? Uh, can I cuss on you? Or? Yeah, do what you want, yeah. Somebody, one of the head coaches asked somebody, was your mom a prostitute, and then asked another player, why you closed like a bitch on this play? Oh, man. The coaches got right to it, huh? Yeah. So are those the type of things that you worry about, or you're just like, you know what, I'm going to be myself and keep it flowing? I mean, I'm going to be myself and keep it flowing. I don't think I, I don't have any, nothing crazy going on in my life like that. So I don't think I get asked a crazy question along the lines like that. Okay. Now, you're from the area. You know, you went to Langston Hughes High School. You played George Bulldog out in Athens. Would your mom be in a Falcon, bro? Is that would that be nice, or you you're like I'm I'm ready to finally go? What do you think? I mean, yes, it would be nice, but then again, it's a uh, it's 31 more teams other than them that could be possibly interested in me. So I don't know where I end up. As long that's, as I get to play football, it's cool. That's the politically correct answer. <laughs> Anybody who will write the check, basically, huh? <laughs> Anybody that's willing to pay me the most and can use me on the field. So I'm not mad at you, brother, and. Is there a, pos a position that you prefer? Or are you looking more so towards playing the line, the end? I know you're capable of going and dropping back. Do you have a preference as to what you do on the next level? Uh, I just want to be an every down player. I feel like I could play D and outside linebacker and a little bit of middle linebacker, so it doesn't really matter. So you ready to crack a tight end and then still go get Tom Brady? Facts. Well, listen, do us all a favor. Play the Patriots. I hope they're on the schedule. Do me, do me, Jr. personally a favor. Hit Tom Brady. Man, that dude hasn't been sacked in. The, uh, it's, it's been a few. I don't know how long, but I do hear that he doesn't go down often like other quarterbacks. Everybody want to see that man hit. Is there anybody that you've played? Let's go back to to to, to high school. Is there anybody currently in the NFL that you played against? No, but I do know Cam Noon pretty well. So you... You know what I'm saying? I played on the 707, the little thing that he has here around Atlanta. So, I mean, it'd be good to get get a chance to hit him. So Cam Newton would be the top on your list of dudes that you want to take out? Not take out, but like just comfortably, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not saying... Toggle them in. You know what I'm saying? Get a good hit on them. I'm not an advocate for yeah. breaking people's legs yeah. and tearing up their ankles. <laughs> I'm just saying to lay a good hit on them. Cam Newton will be at the top, huh? Yeah, to get a good hit on them, yes. Any other, any other quarterbacks who, you, who you've watched and said, I could get them? Or you want to get them? Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson. Why short, speedy? Why you you don't like Sierra? You want to take I mean, Sierra from him or what? I, I mean, he's setting the high standard for all the men around the world. So I mean, not just because of that reason, but I mean, just to hit him, just to tackle him. Because he's with Sierra? No, man. I mean, I do got a little crush on Sierra and whatnot, but 
Woods. He says it'd be good to talk to man. Listen, I know where to find him. So if you ever want to take Sierra from Russell oh, Wilson, man. I can set that up for you easy. Let's do it. Okay, no, no taking. I'm going to put that down. So listen, before these games, man, what exactly are you listening to to get hype? T.I. 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 Bring them out, bring them out. Like, uh, big things popular. What are we listening to? What is that? Uh, Urban Legend. Urban Legend. Yeah. Just the whole thing going through everything. The whole thing. The whole thing. T.I. Any T.I. album. What about Jeezy? I listen to Jeezy, Young Joe, all of them. You don't sound as enthusiastic about the... Hold on one second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the beauty of editing. Yeah. You don't sound as enthusiastic about uh, Jeezy as you do about T.I., man. I'm more so a T.I. guy. I grew up listening to him. He's my favorite rapper from Atlanta. I'm from Atlanta. So you know what I'm saying? I just T.I. Okay. I'm, I'm not mad at you. For anybody who would want to come up in your footsteps, somebody who's playing at the high school level now, who's playing linebacker or defensive end in, in, in college, what advice would you give to them about the journey since you're going to get drafted, bro? I mean, I just tell them to stay down and trust the process and understand if it's for you, then it's for you. So can't nobody take it away from you. And then your college experience, how has that been in general? Man, fun. But you got to learn how to separate the fun from the business. It's also a business. So it's been fun, man. And you got a degree in, in, in working on communications. Does that mean... One day you're going to come from my job or maybe like my man Frank Ski's job. I know you played in Frank Ski's Youth Bowl. Yeah. How was that experience? I'm still waiting on him to cut the check. You want Frank Ski to cut the check? Yeah. As long as you don't look at me and ask me to deliver the message. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to make sure that happens. What, a, what, a, what was your experience like besides waiting on the money to come from Frank? No, man. Just trusting the process, grinding every day, working out on my off time outside of school and just... Trying to stay humble and make it everything, make my dreams into reality. My man, in a few months before you go away to camp, wherever you get drafted, congratulations to you. We're going to get you right back here on the People Station. I'm JR. That's today's JR Sport Brief on the People Station V103.